Heffernan. And was that a foul? It's a goal anyway from Thuddle. From Thuddle. From Thuddle. Here we are. Once again, it is the Funnel Forecast. And I'm here with Bournemouth legend Tony Funnel. We're going to go through the week's fixtures. Uh, and we're going to have a little chat about the situation at Bournemouth, which has not been great, Tony. No, not too good. Um, I don't know about you. All I've heard this week is, did you hear Graham Sooner said Bournemouth have given away 300 goals in five seasons in the Premiership? And um, my thoughts are, the way they played their football in the five seasons in the Premierships, trying to play out from the back, if we had watched their team boot the ball into row Z, would we be happy at that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to see as many games. No. I enjoy watching Bournemouth because they try to play football. And I think this has their, been their, probably their worst season for injuries and that's what's killed them. Yeah. And that's what's going to give them a struggle to the end of the season. Um, and then you also say like injuries. I think, was it three players back mm. at the weekend or something like that? And yeah. I think you get excited. You think, oh, they've got three of their top players back. But those top players are not necessarily fully fit no. for the Premiership. It might take two or three weeks. So, yeah. you know, you expect straight away the results are going to come. But yeah. they'll come this weekend because <laughs> they've got to come this weekend because these next three games are important. Yeah, hugely important. You, you yourself um, have had injuries in the past as, as a player. How long does it take normally for a player to get do you think up to up to speed to where they would like where they would like to be where their performance levels would I, like to I be? I do think it takes two or three games. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And more so in like the Premiership nowadays because it's completely different to when I played. It's uh, so much quicker now. Mm. So much strength needed. It's so quicker. Yeah. In my day, it was a little bit easier. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be quick anyway. That's what we're aiming for: quick football. That's what's been lacking a little bit. So I just kicked the camera person. Sorry about that, V. Uh, we're going to go through the fixtures. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. ready. Right, here we go. We're going to go with, uh, starting with the 12.30 kickoff on the weekend. We're going to go Watford against Tottenham Hotspur. I often do this. I throw in a draw, the first early Dude, fixture. Yeah, I that? think a draw. I think you just fancy a draw on the afternoon, don't you? That 12.30 <laughs> kickoff. <laughs> I do. Yeah. And then we've got uh, Arsenal against Sheffield United. I'm going to go... I could easily go for another draw because Sheffield United are a compact side. Yeah. But I'm going to go for a, an Arsenal win. Good. And then we got uh, Brighton against Villa. I'm going to go for a Villa win, which I think might be good for Bournemouth. Might be. And then we're going to go for City, Man City, against Crystal Palace. Yeah, Man City at home. Definitely. And then it's the big one for me. It's away at Norwich. Yeah, definitely we want one for Bournemouth to win and I'm definitely going for Bournemouth. Thank you, Tony. And then Southampton against Wolves. Yeah, see, Southampton, the team in form at the moment. Yeah, I've got to go for Southampton. Yeah, Danny Ings just uh, firing, isn't he? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, he could be right with Bournemouth at the moment, wouldn't it? But they've got enough players up front, Bournemouth. They'll be all right. And then you've got West Ham against Everton. I'm going for an away win for Everton. Newcastle against Chelsea. That's a later kickoff. I'm trying to say Chelsea, and then I'm thinking, could it be a draw that game? Because I'm going to go Chelsea. Yeah, I think you're wise too. And then we've got two fixtures on the Sunday. So we've got Burnley against Leicester. I'm going for a Leicester win. And uh, Liverpool against Manchester United. Well, if. Manchester United signed about three players before the game (laughs) and could play 14 players in the game. They might have a chance. But the way they're playing, I can't see nothing. I don't think they get in for Liverpool. Liverpool win for me, yeah. I don't think anyone can stop Liverpool at all, can they, this season? No, they're playing such good football and they're so good at the the back. They're sharp up front. Yeah. Yeah, very good team. Okay, brilliant. Well, that's it. That's the first uh, final forecast no, it's not. Tony, we did one last year. Why did I, I thought it was a new year. It's not. It's That's the end of the Fonny Forecast. That's that's it for today. Uh, so thank you ever so much. Uh, get your forecast in. See if you can beat 
Tony at the Funnel Forecast. But we will be back for the midweek. That's what you was probably thinking of. We've got a midweek. We've got a midweek one coming up. And um, wait a minute, what day is it today? So today you're watching this is Friday. So Saturday you'll wear blue. Sunday you'll wear red. So you'll be in red again, won't you? By the time we come round to the next one. Yeah, red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye.